I'm going to talk to you a little bit um, this afternoon about um, using Pebble Pad to create a, a more three dimensional approach to um, the traditional assessment that we've been using. I joined Sheffield Hallam uh, a year ago um, from clinical practice uh, onto the paramedic course. I was using Pebble Pad um, before I came to the university and found that it was actually here but being very, very much underutilised. Um, so one of the things we did quite early on was to change the module handbooks um, from being a paper-based product to being an online uh, commodity which makes it easier for me to um, continue to update. Um, they see a live copy as I, oops, sorry, as I generate it uh, and make changes to it automatically update on the version that they see. What I wanted to introduce you to is the um, assignment for my module, which is the pathophysiology assignment. Now, up until um, my taking over the module um, this year, the students would receive a paper description of a patient or a number of patients, which they would have to then describe the pathophysiology of the presenting condition. It was a very difficult to describe and give them all the information they needed. So I was interested in how I could make it more three-dimensional, allow them to get a better grip on what it is the patient's presenting with. So I produced a workbook in um, Pebble Pad, which has an introduction. Because it's multimedia, it allows me to give a video introduction to the once and again and again and again. To the left you'll see three tabs content. Don't need me to explain it all there. But there's a video link on there which is embedded in that. They can watch it again and again. So instead of them bringing it up and saying what exactly is it we need to do, they can re-watch it whenever they need to. So it just helps to reinforce the instructions for, for the assignment. When it comes to the three questions, they're listed down the side. Each one again has a bit of a, a multimedia presentation to it. So instead of having to give just a, a, a written description, they get again. Oh, thanks for coming. It's my husband. He's had difficulty watch. breathing, and things he's had a heart attack a couple of years ago. Introduced he's been on ice and the his legs are a lot small when he can't breathe properly. And I've called my GP, but we can't see him until tomorrow. Come in. Okay. I was like that problem recently. Um, there's a little bit of an introduction to the patient themselves, a bit of a, a description of his, of his um, previous medical history. They get to see the monitor screen that they would, if they were there assessing that patient, that they would present with. They also get to hear the patient's respiratory sounds. So instead of trying to describe that in a very didactic way, I can get them to listen to it. I can present them other bits of information such as the, the ECG that they need to review. Um, patient's heart sounds. That's a poorly patient. Third heart sound. Other other pictorial representations of the presentation, such as the, the pitting edema and the raised jugular vein distension, just helps to give the student a better impression than saying you're going to see a patient who has <coughs> difficulty in breathing, swollen ankles, uh, raised jugular vein distension, and altered breath sounds. Student can then add their answer below. One of the advantages of using Pebble pad is that through Atlas I constantly see where the student is. Rather than having to come and see me and have a tutorial, at any point I can access the student's workbook and see how they're progressing. I can add comments to it. So there's a facility down the side for me to click on and add some comments. If I can see them going slightly off track, I can ask them to make adjustments to it. They can give me feedback and I can see how they're progressing. So you can see here we've got um, three questions. This is the next one, a slightly different patient. And again, 
again the third. Same thing, presenting them with a video presentation, the patient's various presenting complaints. This poor guy's had a stroke. And finally, they have access to the marking matrix that gives them some idea how their assignment is going to be assessed. So that's the, um, the three-dimensional assessment. One of the other things we've been doing using PebblePad is creating electronic portfolios for them to uh, demonstrate their proficiency using electronic badges when they've completed mandatory training such as basic life support, moving and handling, uh, sharps assessment, infection control. Each time they pass and receive a certificate, they get an electronic badge which they can then add to their uh, portfolio. And the practice placement document has now been converted from a paper-based document to, again, using a pebble pad workbook, an online practice placement. So, so again, while they're out in placement, because I can see a live version of what they're doing, at any time I can see how they're progressing. When it comes to, we've got 70 students on the course, so when it comes to targeting my placement visits, I can scroll through, because it also has a progression checker, I can instantly look and see what percentage of the competences have been signed off. So I can see which students either aren't completing their, aren't achieving their competences, or aren't filling in the workbook. So I can target my, my uh, placement visits more appropriately to those students that are, are struggling and need that, that extra attention. So that's a very, very quick look at um, what we've been doing with PebblePad in the paramedic team. Are there any questions? We've got That's 10 seconds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no? <Okay. laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Next question. Yeah. Oh, no. The next word is <laughs> <laughs>